So we're hiking out here across the pond area. The pond, or what we have of it so far, is somewhat iced over this morning. Things are getting pretty chilly out here. We're getting into the low 20s at night, most nights, and we're getting very little sun these days. But this hike is going to take us to a rather rare phenomenon that we've discovered right here on our property. Stay tuned. Hey, JR, say hi. Hello. This is my oldest. He's back from college for the holidays, and we are so excited to have him. This is actually his first walk down here since the work was done. So it's all, we're just having all kinds of excitement these days. But, so to give you a little bit of perspective, the camper and the living area is way up on that hill across the levee. We've come down into a bit of a valley where the cold air settles and it's chilly down here, but it hasn't been cold enough to actually freeze the ground yet. So you've still got heat coming up from the ground. So it's hard to see, but if you look around here in the ground, you'll see white, what we call frost flowers. There's one right there in the center. We've got another couple of them over here and they're actually spread out all over. They're just a little difficult to see because of the leaf fall, but they're a really cool phenomenon that only happen when the ground is still warm, but the air is cold enough to freeze. It actually causes the liquid inside the stem of the plant to freeze and then rupture the stem. And as it oozes out, it forms all these really intricate designs. Let's see if I can get a close up here. So you can see the lines and just very intricate designs. Oh, you've got one up close there. There we go. So you can see they're very fragile. Snap one off. And it's really nothing more than an ice crystal. It'll just melt in your hand. I have never heard of these until recently. And they grow, I guess they grow in a number of places here around the Shawnee National Forest. But we are blessed to have them right here on our property. They have a very short lifespan because they melt as soon as the sun comes up. So you have to catch them early in the morning. But you can see it's almost like woven silk or lace or something. You can see the lines and the patterns. <laughs> what? This is just the coolest phenomenon. I've, I've never heard of these. And we found out about them and then Michaela was actually out hiking yesterday and discovered them. So we all came down to take a look, but such a neat little gift from God and nature out here. Here's a view from the top looking down. You can see a bunch of them hiding under that bush there. So all the white that you see, they're just kind of scattered all over out here. It's our own little ice garden. Ah, see if it'll focus there. Yeah, you can see how intricate that is. Just very, very fragile, almost feathery. It's like cotton. It does. It looks a lot like a cotton field or a cotton plant. We used to live in the south, so seen plenty of those, but this is all just ice crystals from liquid that has kind of erupted out of the stem of that plant. Oh, Rosa, you snuck out without your coat. Now you're freezing. All right. You got another one there? That one's a little more tube shaped. What are you, uh, tasting the flowers here? <laughs> she said they're just water. Michaela tends to taste anything nature offers if she knows it won't kill her. They're ice chips. Yeah. I guess if you need nourishment on a frigid day, be a cold way to do it. Yeah, these are just everywhere. Everywhere we look out here. I wish you could see it without the camera. Because I know it's really hard to notice. Well, 
So there you have it. Little phenomenon of nature and uh, kind of a cool sign on a cold, cloudy day. You guys have a good week.